Have you ever wondered what $2 billion could buy you? Well, what about a state-of-the-art car manufacturing plant? Now, we've been granted special access to take a look at how modern cars are built. The Hyundai plant at Ostrava produces a new car every 54 seconds. Employing around 3,400 people, the plant is a key supplier of new cars to dozens of countries, including Australia. The Hyundai Tucson SUV represents around 70% of the plant's production. So we're going to walk through some of the process of creating a new car. This is where it all starts, the stamping plant. And what you can see behind me is they're changing the dies. Basically, right here in this factory, they build three different kinds of car, the Tucson, the i30, and the iX20. And when they shift from making one model to another, they need to put in a different kind of mold, essentially, so that they can press the doors or the roof or the bodywork from one car to the other. The forces at work are immense. Each stamp uses more than 3,000 tonnes of pressure, and the moulds you can see weigh as much as a Boeing 737 airliner. Once the panels are stamped out, staff check them for imperfections and feed them into jigs that supply clever robots. The robots then weld it all together into the basic form of a new car. Have a look at the robots that make modern cars possible. These machines are working together to build doors for the Tucson in a finely choreographed ballet that is just fantastic to watch. It's elegant and technical at the same time. It takes a little over 20 hours to build a Tucson and most of that time is spent in the paint shop. really doesn't take long to finish the car once the paint is dry. This is the final assembly area where the bare metal car turns into more of a vehicle by having all the key components bolted in. And we can see on the build sheet here that this is a car designated to go to Australia. It's a right-hand drive Tucson wagon with a two-litre engine and a six-speed automatic transmission. It really shows you where the car is up to in the build process. Now, right now, this car is only three and a half hours away from rolling off the line. We even let the crew a hand, helping out or perhaps slowing things down on the production line. So doing this work has given me a real appreciation for the skill that goes into making a car. There's a lot of time pressure on. As you can see, the line doesn't stop moving. This is the chassis marriage section, where the powertrain of the car, such as its engine and gearbox, are bolted up into the body of the vehicle, along with its brakes and suspension hardware. Now what's really impressive to me is that there are three different kinds of cars that come through here, as well as petrol and diesel, two-wheel drive and all-wheel drive variants, all snaking through the one production line that works its way through the factory. It's amazing to think that just 20 hours ago, these cars were simple rolls of metal in the stamping plant. Look at them now. Complete vehicles, ready to hit the road. There's just a couple of things to do. Take them for a lap of the test track and put them on their way to Australia. The cars are shipped out of the factory by train before making their journey to Australia across the sea. The process takes several weeks and the cars are shielded from the elements by protective plastic both inside and out. Here we are in Australia reunited with the car after its two month journey from Europe via Africa. But I've got a little more work to do before we can hit the road. Moment of truth, time to take the key and turn over the car for the first time. What a fascinating experience. It's been such a privilege to have a look behind the scenes at how a new car is created. There's one thing left to do with this car and that is to take it for a drive. So what we're going to do is live with this new Tucson for the next few weeks and report back about life with the new Hyundai Tucson. Hyundai Tucson.